Black history, to me, means empowerment. It's hard for us to imagine um, total, total suppression and control that slavery represented and the level of violence and the level of just raw domination, violence and intimidation that people had to rise above and build a culture in spite of that. I believe that the greatness of black history is bigger than the people. Um, like it's, it's really a, the culmination of everything that has worked together in our history, which, was, which, which is what makes black history great. You've got to keep the white and the black separate. program that will eliminate these evils that are in our community. The nature of a panther, panther doesn't strike anyone, but if the aggressor continues, then he'll strike out. You've always had black people rise up throughout history and say, you know, I'm not comfortable with what's going on, and I'm going to try my best to fix it, uh, whichever way I know how. The civil rights movement changed the world, and everything that's ever happened here in the U.S., particularly the changes that have been driven by the fight for racial equality. It impacts everyone in the world because it democratizes the world and makes life better for everyone. There were so many leaders amongst that one movement and they, they really paved, they paved a path to, to freedom and they paved a path to opportunity and they paved the path towards equality. Those moments of black history that have been the most powerful um, have pushed all of the world's conception of what it means to be human and what it means to be free and what it means to have liberty. A darkness, of course, had fallen and you can hear people yelling for help. Deadly church shooting in Charleston, South Carolina. Trayvon Martin, an unarmed black teenager. Let me not mince words. This is a racial crime. You shot four bullets in the when it comes down to the climate, the weather, um, colonization, we've just endured a lot as a people. We've had to deal with a lot of loss in our community, whether that be notable figures like MLK or Malcolm X or Mega Evers, but we've also had to deal with the loss of the everyday black man and black woman, you know, like Sandra Bland or Trayvon Martin, and I could go on and on. I mean, if people can get through some of the things that um, they've been subjected to in the past, then you look at that and you think, well, I can, I can do anything too. I can get through this. People right now, they kind of get caught up in what's in the news and what's in the media and what people are telling them that sets them back. But it's like, if you think back to your history and see where you came from, how can you not even think that you could do that or you can do even more? The best way to make change is to be a community and to understand each other and to hear each other. And I feel like without communication, without listening to one another, we're not going to be able to make any changes. And I think the fact that protests bring such strong ideas and strong opinions together is something that we need to continue doing, obviously in an effective and safe way. However, I feel like it's the most effective way to get our voices heard. You know, America likes to say that, you know, we've made such progress and, you know, that's debatable. But I think black people are always going to be straight as long as we have each other. This is a moment that a lot of people have been waiting for. This is a moment that potentially could be rather historic. I have nothing but hope because I, I see it. I see evidence of it every day. We shifted the conversation from, you know, you see a black man or a black woman getting killed on national TV or in your neighborhood and you'd be like, oh, that sucks, to now what are we going to do about it? I see the, the inspiration that this young generation has coming up that is reminiscent of some of those that laid the laid foundation for civil rights in the 60s. There are young people who are questioning all these long-standing assumptions that suggested that they were undeserving somehow of all the things that life has to offer. And they're challenging that. Miss Black and Gold 2016. Everyone inside them has a sense of greatness, and it's just a matter of how they awaken it. Awakening greatness from within means that we're always great, we just didn't know it yet.